Alright guys, welcome back. We're at the lease. Oh my god. I was on my way to set up a little camp. We're going to be doing some bushcraft camping out here on the river. I was really looking forward to that. Got the ATV loaded down with some supplies. And I was going to go down there and set up camp. And on my way, I ran into some hogs. Got the pew pew out, and I went and got set up on a nice hill about 100 yards away, and I got attacked by huge Texas-sized fire ants. So, <laughs> didn't work out so good. Then I got up really close to them, like 30 yards there, thick in some nasty brush on this big hill. We call this Booby Hill, right here. There are hogs everywhere. There's so many, in fact, that there's a, uh, a scheduled helicopter hunt here this weekend to help control the population of these hogs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put a stock on these hogs. Just pause on uh, setting up the camp and see if we can send a few rounds on the old piggies out here. So I'm gonna kinda work my way around this hill, keeping the wind uh, in my face. And these pigs, I got really close to them, they didn't even know I was there. So I think they're gonna come out. There's an open area out past this brush here in you know 30 minutes to an hour. So I think that'd be pretty exciting. I was about to get up there in that brush. I was like, yeah, I better go back and get my cameras first in case something really crazy and exciting happens. So we're gonna strap on a camera. Um, my scope is actually a camera as well. So we should be able to, to film it. All right, let's do a little bacon stalking.
first of my shots gonna be I've also got animals on both sides and I don't want to spook this is getting a little too good something moving right through here I think it's another pig I think we should probably move in a little bit closer and just try to take as many out as we can. This was not how I was expecting the day to go. I was literally coming in to set up camp and I stopped the ATV because I thought, man, those kind of look like hogs, but they might be cows. And then I started just looking, realized that they were hogs. And then about an hour later, made a stock all the way up the hill to get around the wind. And uh, man, I was close. I was probably like 60, 70 yards. <laughs> And they weren't able to, to win me. Well, Buddy got up one more time. And I just, I had to dome him. Pigs. One of the toughest animals we have here in Texas. Now that deer season's over, it's pretty much just free rain on the hogs out here. We got turkey season coming up. And we're gonna do some shed hunting and stuff like that, but you know, we didn't want to disturb our, our deer hunting too much, but man, these hogs are just overrunning this place. It's crazy. Don't see any blood. At this point, uh, you know, not watching the video back, I'm not sure. Um, you know, even if I hit that big boar like that on the run with a 5.56, five, he's not going down. So he'll just have a a battle wound to growl about but I just want to show you guys how thick the brush is here in Texas so there's our hog Just burled up, bristle back. That's where they get that name razor back. Just this razor coming down off that guy. And look at his battle scars. You can see right there, right there. That's where he's been, he's been fighting with other hogs. And their skin is so tough on their shoulder that I've almost never expired a hog on one shot if it's not a really good headshot. But this brush right here, they make little tunnels all through this stuff. They're so low to the ground, they can run through it. And a little tip if you're hog hunting, you always want to be squatting down and stuff like this because they can see you. You're above at this angle. You can't see anything on the ground. They can see a lot better peering at that level. So, you know, I had hogs around me, behind me, growling to the side. I could hear them. And they just will sit there. If you look really close, sometimes you'll see their ears twitch. Um, but they just kind of lay down and they can be really sneaky. You can almost walk up on them. But I, I can guarantee you, they will smell you a long ways away if your wind is not right. So they may not be able to see, 
but daggum they can smell they got a schnooter the other thing we got to worry about right now right now geez where'd that come from hunting shows the other thing we got to worry about right now is rattlesnakes y'all rattlesnakes the size of texas are out here and it just started warming up we came off that freezing streak and now it's warming up so i am not going to be camping on the ground if there's one thing i'm more scared of than a mountain lion it's a rattlesnake crawling into my sleeping bag on the ground you know a nice warm cozy sleeping bag next to you Ew. that just does not sound good so i'm really not sure what i'm gonna do tonight but anyway piggy down and that's the first one with my new optic a little close-up of the scope night vision capable it's got the ir on it you can use it during the day obviously as well and shout out to brace built for custom engraving my lower right there pretty sweet thanks guys this is a texas size boar it's probably up there you know around 150 or so and we commonly get hogs over 200 pounds here in texas gotta watch my back and like i said there's a helicopter hunt uh scheduled this weekend i'm not on it but um they survey the land with helicopters every once in a while a few times a year and they get an estimate of how many hogs are out here and it's explosive it doesn't hurt anything me taking out a hog or two as i tried but uh ended up just getting the one first time using that caliber hog hunting as well i definitely recommend a, a higher caliber 308 if you can 6.8 is really good too i just got the 556 five, just uh you know has as a general general use not gonna throw this one on the barbecue grill um pretty gnarly the last big boar we killed out here had a lot of worms in it and stuff and osg is uh not down with that program just taking a boar out as a like a management uh, reason the helicopter is going to take a bunch more out this weekend anyways um, just to keep the population under control and i think the coyotes will be very much happy with old snooter here now that we've had some hog hunting action i want to show you guys what i, I originally came out here to do and that is go explore this river and do some bushcrafting down there there's been a lot of arrowheads found down here there are, uh, there's caves and stuff like that, and I just haven't explored it on foot. You know, during hunting season, during deer season, I'm always chasing the deer. I'm gonna take you guys through here right now so you can kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna be camping. If you look up there, that's the canyon. So I've slept on top of that canyon before. There's holes and caves. I know that that mark where mountain goat is living out here somewhere too. Oh, first time coming down here. There we go. The Colorado River. I have fished parts of the Colorado River many times, and I've also fished lakes that are along the Colorado River, and there are bass in here somewhere in one of these pools there are bass so during turkey season uh definitely going to bring the kayak down and do some exploring down here but uh isn't this beautiful i mean this is like the perfect spot to camp i've heard stories that there is a mountain lion cave along this bank somewhere it's a little bit creepy knowing what is living down here but also just beautiful and I'm, ex I'm excited to uh, set up the bushcraft camp around here. And my goal is uh, to set it up where I can just continue to, to come down here and maybe even hunt out of that camp. And, oh, I just, I just saw something jumping in there. Oh, I see a tail. I see a tail. Oh my gosh, I see tail kicks. What is going on here? What is going on? There are fish. I don't know if you guys can see. I gotta, I gotta get out the big ones. Fish are kicking in this current. don't exactly know what species that is down there you can see their tails kicking in the current i know there's carp in here i've seen those like maybe some buffalo carp it could be that it could be catfish i i really doubt there's trout I, do, I don't know we're gonna explore that though might even be able to just catch one like gig one up throw it on the fire maybe i don't, I don't know there's a lot of possibilities that we're gonna be exploring here on the next video so you know what to do 
subscribe right here to the channel and y'all let, let me remind you we are hitting a million this year smash it subscribe and smash the like button for outdoor greatness y'all and i'll see you back here in the woods god bless you see you soon